Welcome in everybody to this edition of Valpo Football Weekly, sponsored by Regional Federal Credit Union. Brandon Vickery with you. Glad to be joined by Valpo head coach Landon Fox as we take a look back at Saturday's home opener against Central Connecticut and coach early in the game. Yeah, a few stops. The first two possessions were three and outs for Central Connecticut. Uh, what went well on defense early on in the game and how did things change as the game moved along? Yeah, just the thing that you do have to be encouraged about is that we are continuing to get better. Maybe not as fast as we as a staff would like, or even the players to, to that extent. Um, so we're just in our right spots and doing our 111th, doing our job. Um, but the longer that the game goes on, the more plays you have, the more room for error, and we just have to be consistent in our approach. And don't, and don't let the score dictate how we're playing. On offense, you move the ball over the course of the game but didn't finish those drives with consistency. How do you make sure you come away with points when you do move the ball? And yeah, don't turn the ball over. And it's, a, it's a pretty simple thing. When we went into the game, that was one of our focus is that we wanted to try to get the ball back and, and we wanted to uh, take care of the football and we talked about the ball being the issue and, and we didn't get that done. And so you saw a number of drives that we were able to put together and not come away with points. Just. Um, from from turning it over and and that has to be fixed because that w that was a product of um, last week or two weeks ago against Eastern Kentucky as well so um, have to do a better job take care of the ball and it starts with the quarterback I mean Chris Chris Duncan he knows that and and making good decisions making the right decisions and sometimes that right decision may be just to throw it away. Two of the real highlights of the game were the blocked punt plays, one early and one late. What did you see on film that led to those blocked punts? Yeah, Coach Robinson and, and the guys executed the game plan very well. Just in terms of how they were blocking, um, we thought we could take advantage of a couple things. And the guys executed the game plan brilliantly and were able to, to um, be in position to, to make the punt or block the punt. And, and they did. And, it, and that was a huge factor in us uh, being in the game early. Jamari Booker was key in one of those plays and he was the team's leading tackler in the game. What have you seen from him in the way he's played? Yeah, he's a competitor. He lo loves to compete. Um, you know, he wants to win and, and so he's going to do everything he can um, to make that happen. And it's, if it's defense, if it's special teams, whatever he needs to do um, for us to have success, he's going to do. And very excited about what he's been able to do over the last two weeks and we're going to continue to count on him to do that the rest of the year. Kyle Cartales at the running back position was involved in the passing game on Saturday with eight receptions. Is that something you look at going forward and uh, how would you get him involved in the passing game? I just think getting the ball to Kyle is a, a good thing. He's a dynamic athlete, can do things um, when you hand the ball off to him or um, receive it out of the, of the backfield. And, um, they were doing some things where we felt like we could get it to him out, in the, out on the perimeter and allow him to use his ability to make some plays in, in which he did. And so. Um, credit to the offensive staff for doing that, and but to Kyle, Kyle and, and Chris making those plays in the past game. Let's talk about the running game. How do you get the running game going a little more going forward? Yeah, I think we got to do a better job getting a push up front. Um, you know, Central Connecticut State, they were stout. They had some big guys up there. Um, but at, that, at the same time, we have to have the ability to get a push. And, um, and if it's three or four yards, I mean, that's, that's, that's fine. That's what you're going for. But we can't, can't play behind the six, kind of like we talked about before. Let's look ahead to this week. It's a road trip to Truman State, a team that beat Valpo a year ago, a team that has a PFL win over Drake this season. What can you tell us about the Bulldogs? Yeah, so I, you know, I was telling the guys, um, you know, Truman is a great example of who you want to be as a football team, and they may not have the measurables, you know, the height and weight, but they are good football players, and they are tough, and they are fast. And that the head coach there does an unbelievable job. You can you can tell on both offense and defensive side of it. Um, they, they 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 will create. Um, it, it, they'll they'll pose some problems to us in terms of just again, hey, on paper it may not match up to who they are, but when they play, um, they get after it, and they play hard, and they play for 60 minutes, and they execute. So, um, to me, that's kind of fun because that's. That's what I believe in. That's who we, we want to be. Well, all right, let's go down there and see if we can match that intensity um, and beat them at their own game, if you will. It is a rare night game on a Saturday night on Saturday at Truman State. It kicks off at 7 o'clock. There will be a video stream of the game. All the coverage links are available on ValpoAthletics.com. For the head coach, Landon Fox, this is Brandon Vickery. We'll talk to you again next week on Valpo Football Weekly.